Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're unboxing the CP Air 727-200 from Gemini Jets. Um, before we start the video, I just want to say stick around to the end of the video to uh, hear the announcement about the giveaway for my channel. Alright, getting back to CP Air Boeing 727-200. Um, it's a... CP Air was a Canadian airline that went out of uh, Canada, surprisingly. But um, here we have it. Uh, beautiful model. Let's take a look. Starting off with the box, it's a standard Gemini Jets box. You have that blue and then the logo down here, CP Air, and the decal up here. Opening it up, you can see we have that um, model inside the flap there. Opening this, here we have the standard Gemini Jets blue on the bottom, clear on the top. And then here is a paint protector. Now, um, something that I noticed about this airplane i did open this one up before because i wanted to see it uh earlier before i did the giveaway i did notice this and this is actually something that happened to um happened to a lot of gemini jets where there's this like weird oil like residue on the planes and people can figure out what it was for a while but uh gemini jets released something and they did a factory tour and it turned out to be this protective coating that way the planes wouldn't get um wouldn't get their paint or something broken. So it's really interesting. If you get a Gemini jet and it happens to be like a little oily or whatever, that's why. It's just because um, it's a certain protector. Um, and it's not it's not anything bad. It's just you wanted to make sure no like factory oil spilled onto your plane while uh, it was going through. But it's not. It was just a protective coating. So that's always good to hear. Um, let's get into just some uh, first impressions here. First impressions with this model. It's an amazing model. This is my second chrome model meaning like that shiny silver um the first being uh my american 737 800 in the vista jet or the no the astro jet it was the astro jet livery um it was a, a the whole plan was that shiny chrome i happen to like this one where it's half the shiny chrome half the orange plus red white mix um i think it actually blends really well together and uh i like the model a lot let's get into more details Starting off with the front of the aircraft, there you can see those cockpit windows. Uh, right in front of that is that black and white nose cone. Super interesting because um, uh, it's like not a lot of airlines do that anymore where they paint the front of the nose a certain color. Another uh, airline that did this was uh, Allegheny, which American Airlines ended up taking over. Here's an American Airlines plane painted into the Allegheny livery. It does that same thing with that black and white cone on the front of the plane. Which I always thought was interesting. I don't know why they stopped. I kind of like it. I think it looks cool. But um, yeah, they ended up stopped doing that a while ago um, to make way for more modern planes without that nose cone on the front. Um, up on the top there, we have those co cockpit windows. And then moving down, I believe... Oh, that's just a CP Air. Okay, so the name of the airlines back then were also a lot smaller on the front of the planes. You know, like JetBlue, Southwest are blasted onto the side of the plane. Southwest, American, JetBlue... Now they're not, It's or back then they weren't. It was more of a subtle, like, CP Air, like, you're getting on this plane, this is what it is. In fact, JetBlue, when they first started, had their name up on the top of the aircraft. Uh, the jet was gray, and the blue was blue. And it was very small, and it was just kind of there. Um, whether now they, like, blasted onto the front of the plane. We're JetBlue, so uh, a bit different back then. Moving it forward, we have that L1 door, um, and then... A lot of these windows, a lot of windows. It's actually a surprisingly big plane to have back engines on it, even though it has three. Um, quite an interesting thing, because now you see all these CRJs. Tiny little things with back engines. And this is uh, quite a big plane. There we have the wings and those uh, emergency exits over the wings. And then, of course, that last door there. Scooting it forward even more, you can see there it says um, Canada. And then uh, the registration with the Canada Canadian flag in the middle. But the registration is C... B, hold on, hold on, CGCPB, uh, interesting reg uh, registration, all letters, but maybe that's just custom for Canadian, uh, scooting forward even more, whoops, there we have that tail, that wonderful, like, red triangle with that white, like, outline over it, um, super cool looking, I really think that's a nice tail, it stands out because it's bigger than a lot of these, I'll show you what I mean, a lot of these, like, uh, newer, planes with the engines on the back are really small and the tails don't really stand out they're tiny so this one to be such a big like 
back tail model and still have that their back to uh, back engine plane and still have those that huge tail representing uh cp errors quite a cool thing i really enjoy that taking a look at the bottom of the aircraft there you can see that nose cone i was talking oh there you can see that nose cone i was talking about in the beginning scooting it up we have that um front nose gear and then down further we have the first baggage door there there we have a hole for a model stand two gear and then here is something very interesting that's the back door that the 727s would use right there to uh to load passengers into the back of the plane um not a lot of airlines or not a lot of airplanes do this today i don't think at all uh even but um quite an interesting thing that they had that um a famous hijacking took place and they used that to uh open the bottom of the plane and escape through that jump off the parachute cp <laughs> uh cp i did not cp cooper it was something cooper um, he made a big theft off an airplane using that back door. Up here we have the Gemini Jets logo, because what would a Gemini Jets plane be without a Gemini Jets logo? Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you. I know I had an exciting tone in this video. Uh, just really excited to make this one. Such an exciting model. Holidays are coming. So, uh, this is my first Christmas gift, actually. So, really excited to open it. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Again. Subscribe for the giveaway, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks all so much. Bye.